Divine Encounters and Revelation Some years passed and my desire to see the Holy Spirit continues. So I went to the room. I laid down. At that moment I was doing a mission in one of the provinces of Angola. While I was in the room, I started to feel the presence of God very strongly. I started to hear the Lord's voice. Then I asked the Father for a message for our generation. Suddenly I was already in space and seeing the world in four corners. I saw the earth. There was only trash everywhere. I was saddened by what I saw. Immediately I heard the voice of the Lord who told me, Sin has turned the earth to a dump. There is so much evil in men. God sees the earth as a dump. The sin of the people stinks badly in the nostrils of God. The Lord said, There is still hope for many will be taken out of that garbage into light in the blast of the trumpet. Those who live in sin failing to repent, they smell like garbage in the dump. God cannot even hear their prayers because of the stench of carrion. The Lord is seeking true repentance for God does not listen to the prayer of the unrepentant sinner unless he repents in godly sorrow. John 9:31. We know that God does not listen to sinners, but if anyone is a worshiper of God and does his will, God listens to him. Proverbs 28, 9 If one turns away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer is an abomination. 1 Peter 3 12 For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Psalm 66, 18 If I had cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. Then I started to go down to my room. The Lord took me in a vision in which there was a lot of noise of trumpets in the air. Meanwhile, I went out to sea, and right there I saw thousands of people going up at the sound of the trumpet. As they went up they turned into a strong light. And they went up to the meeting with God. When I looked from the side I saw a man setting traps on the ground, so that many would be trapped in them. They would not be able to rise to heaven due to the prison they fell in. I want to warn that no one that is trapped will go up. These traps of Satan to stop people from rising were things like makeup, movies and entertainment, even video games and dating sites. If you are trapped in any of these traps you will not rise and you will fall. You do not have much time to start removing the traps and living free for Jesus to take you at the sound of the trumpet. I was in prayer and I came across a very magnificent glorious vision. I really wanted to see the Spirit as a person and not as a dove. Then I saw a man with a lot of light and a lot of glories. From his body, rays came out like lights and sparks. I also saw as if his body lit up like lightning. As soon as I arrived, he hugged me tightly. And I was drunk with power as I never had in my life. He kissed me on the forehead. I didn't want to wake up from that love and power. The Holy Spirit is full of power and love at the same time. He loves us in such a way that He helps us in our weaknesses and teaches us to be holy but He cannot bear sins. When the person insists on sinning, He abandons that life. I had my eyes opened. I really wanted someone to experience that moment with me. I woke people up but nobody noticed me. I couldn't stand up. I was very drunk when I got back to the room. The Spirit of God told me, always stay with me. I never sleep. Build intimacy with me like a plant to be watered every day and to be well taken care of and to flourish. Brother, I live every day waiting for the Lord to visit me just as he visited Adam at every turn of the day. I always look forward to the Lord visiting me at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. after my daily prayer of communion. For the Lord is faithful. I normally wake up at dawn between 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. to pray. I was still awake praying and watching for a touch and a visitation. Even though I was awake, I began to experience a rapture of my spirit. Then I saw two angels. One was on my left and the other on my right. We were traveling going up towards the clouds. In the twinkling of an eye, we were already in a beautiful city. I knew that we were not in a place on earth for we were in heaven. It was a magnificent city. There were many buildings of various kinds. I was happily admiring the beauty of the golden city. The Lord said to me, observe carefully. What do you see? I replied, I can see luminous buildings, beautiful and full of light. The Lord said, every building represents a believer on the earth. And the light coming from the building represents my presence in the life of the believer on the earth. The Lord of Lords changed my understanding and my way of looking at everything. I saw in the eyes of the Lord when he sees these mansions of heaven, he saw his people on the earth who are represented by celestial mansions that are beautiful and illuminated, strong, and admirable. 
So the Lord made me realize that in the spiritual kingdom in his view, we are buildings. The mission of the Holy Spirit on earth is to build large buildings with all the items needed for construction. We are the mansions of heaven constructed by the Holy Spirit filled with the brightness that is the presence of God. So the Lord made me understand that many shining mansions of heaven that I was seeing in the kingdom of heaven were the believers who let the Holy Spirit do the work of construction in their lives. They allow the Spirit of God to build them. Ephesians 2 verse 22 And in him you two are being built together into a dwelling place for God in his Spirit. Then the angels took me out of there and we went to another place. And in that place, there was something similar to many blocks, which were still waiting for construction. They were well arranged. And I looked further and I saw a large space, free for the construction. The Lord told me, what you see here is the future construction projects of the heavenly city but people are not letting my Holy Spirit do his work of building them. They are doing things their way when it is not the time. They are moving forward without the anointing and without being built up spiritually. They end up devastated. The Holy Spirit will not use someone deeply that he has not yet done a deep work of purification and sanctification in them. He has to work in you in order to use you. He has the task of building you for you are a construction project. Today people are getting carried away by the false teaching that builds physical buildings with an eye only on the material things of the world. The Holy Spirit cannot build and construct them because of their belief in the gospel of prosperity and material wealth even if they are chosen for God's construction project. Ephesians 2 20 minus 21 and are built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, 21 in whom all the building fitly framed together grows to a holy temple in the Lord. God has plans with you. However if you do not let him work in you, nothing will advance because God does not force people. So if you don't surrender and humble yourself, he won't move forward with his building project, no matter how much he has promised you. Always remember that. As long as you remain rebellious, when you do not regret your ways, when you do not return in truth to God, the glorious promises of God are blocked in your life. And the only way to see that unlocked is to use the code. And the code is total surrender. Everything must die to the world. Obey the word. Total holiness. Do not sin for nothing. Cry out for the blood and live watching at all times so as not to fall into temptation. Matthew 7 24-27 Therefore whoever hears these sayings of mine, and does them, I will liken him to a wise man, which built his house on a rock. 25 And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on that house. And it fell not, for it was founded on a rock. 26 And every one that hears these sayings of mine, and does them not, shall be likened to a foolish man which built his house on the sand. 27 And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. The Lord said, Just as a house needs all finishing, I need to finish my house that is you with all the fruits. On another day the Lord came to pick me up again. I felt my soul leaving my body. And I was floating to a magnificent house. The house was very beautiful. The floor looked like crystal and the walls were green. What opulence! The Lord told me that that house represents the house that the Holy Spirit inhabits. That was the way he wanted us to be. The Father wants to inhabit in his church. The house was so beautiful. The Lord made me understand that green and white means we must bring peace and purity to people. Green representing hope. I was taken in rapture out of the house. And I saw a dove, golden and white. I soon realized that it was the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God very much wants to enter our lives and remain in us because many do not feel and experience His presence anymore. This is because the house is neither clean nor tidy. I woke up laughing and singing to the Lord because I was renewed by His mercy. In this sense all I ask of God is to help me to walk in a narrow path with strength and vigor every minute. I feel very sad each passing day for servants of God who did a lot of things for God in the past but halfway they corrupted themselves and all they do now is to take many souls to hell. I have taken all my sadness in prayer to God. I took my anguish in prayer because of the way the gospel is corrupted by false pastors and their fake revival. They no longer sanctify the body but they claim they are listening to God which is questionable as he would have corrected their mistakes. The Lord decided to take me to see his glory. I met several angels of the Lord in the air as if they were waiting for me. Then the Lord started talking to me, 
warning me not to get corrupted by the things of this world. I was floating along with many angels. I was astonished by the glory of God and the Lord said, False prophets and false pastors of prosperity think they are great because of their mansions, money and private jets. I thought they are powerful too but the Lord said His glory is more than all the luxuries of this world. I had experienced this majestic glory, it was magnificent. I was amazed to be visited by God and if a week passed by without His visitation, I feel like in sin. I was taken by a strong wind that was like a whirlwind that led me to a church. And I went to that church while I was floating. As soon as I entered the church, I saw that there were many statues within it like that of the Catholic churches. The Lord instructed me to take a hammer and to break all those statues in that church. I took the hammer and I broke all the statues that were there in that church. The Lord told me, the hammer is the word of God. These statues are sins inside the churches. There is a lot of idolatry in the lives of believers. Loving the world more than God is idolatry and enmity with God. The churches are full of people with hardened hearts of stones. Beloved, the hammer which is the sound doctrine in the last generation will annihilate and cancel all the sin in the life of the believers. The Lord took me out of there and then I saw a big field and I looked it was bigger than a football field. The Lord said, I am preparing a people that have sanctified themselves. I am preparing servants who will live and walk in holiness. They live keeping my word. They would preach holy doctrine. I woke up next to my wife singing, Lord, I love you. And my wife told me, what are you dreaming about? My wife thought I was cheating in the dream. Please seek God deeply with holiness, truth, and forgiveness. He will lead you to deep places. False prophets and evil churches will lose many people soon because the word of the Lord is breaking hearts. I was taken to hell visit. I was taken in rapture again. I was very happy with all the glory of God. Then I was in front of a giant hole and I was scared because the flames that came out in large quantities from this pit. I was scared and I realized that I was in hell. I was caught and grabbed by two strong demons that pushed me inside the pit of fire. I was traumatized because the demons were pushing me into hell. I still couldn't wake up from this vision. I was trapped. It is not the first time that I see this place. I already knew where people who die in sin fall in the tunnel of hell. I decided I wasn't going to stay in it. I fought hard. When I left this place by the grace of God, I started to hear God's voice audibly. The Lord told me that all the sins in the mind leads to hell. People only ignore their minds and their thoughts but many land in hell because of the various thoughts that are in the minds such as lust and all kinds of sexual immorality. The Lord said, sexual thoughts of fornication lead to hell. I was despising someone emotionally. I was cold towards him for he left me disappointed. I was not apparently hurt. I just said that I will not talk to him. As a result, the Lord sent his angel that arrived in my bedroom. This angel told me, you must seek reconciliation. I believed that in my mind there was a little resentment. When I woke up, I still heard the voice of God saying, so many married and single people are holding perverse thoughts in their minds. They have illicit thoughts about sex. They are sleeping with women and men in their minds and thoughts. They are wishing someone in their minds when they are coupling with their marital partners yet this leads to hell. This is masturbation of the mind. Whether it is physical or mental masturbation it leads to hell. You must keep your minds pure. The Lord still told me, many are concerned with their holy exterior but in their minds and thoughts there is a lot of fornication, enmity, hatred. People do not examine their conscience to make amends. Brothers make sure to purify your mind. Review and check if you have someone you do not speak to. Do you have resentments? I will leave some texts. James 4, 7 Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Revelation 2, 5 Remember therefore from where you are fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come to you quickly, and will remove your candlestick out of his place, except you repent. The Lord said, no one with any kind of sin will be raptured, even mental sin, even if you don't speak to someone who has offended you. Anyone who commits masturbation will not be taken up in the rapture. Married men and women who sleep with others in their minds will not be caught in the rapture. Those who look at women to want them in their hearts are committing fornication. Sleeping with women in your mind will stop you from rising in the rapture. We must fight with all our strength. We must die completely from the world. And forget about the world.
It requires a great renunciation to enter heaven. Make up in vanity. Then Lord said to me, Woe to women who serve in my work, who sacrificed a lot for me. Woe to the women shepherds. That day I will judge you severely for exchanging my work for works of Egypt. Woe to the women who don't want to listen to me when I say I'm against makeup, wigs, painted nails and all kinds of additions that didn't come from me. I made you beautiful but you exchanged my beauty for artificial beauty. You became like robots and simply satanic experiments. I will judge you for not accepting the way I made you, reproaching my work of creation, implying that I am a bad maker. So you embraced things that Satan had designed to offend my work of creation. Woe to the shepherds who dress indecently. Woe to you who have set a bad example for the neophytes of faith to follow your addictive evil custom of vanities. Yes but most of you don't listen and don't take it seriously. Woe to the singers who go up on my altar in satanic clothes with all kinds of painting on their nails and on their faces. I'm against you. I am against you. And I will not tolerate you in my kingdom for no satanic work enters my presence. If you don't take it off, when you die you'll be at my gate in white robes but your nails will be painted. Your face will be painted. And with false hair. And then I will not be able to receive you in my presence because these things do not enter my holy place. Women, remember I made you perfect and beautiful more than men. But you are denying yourself and loving things in this world. Repent woman and regret it, saith the Lord. Women of God, this sin is a serious sin because the Lord is feeling that you are offending what he did in creation because everything he did is good. There is nothing to add or correct. Look at the word. 1 Timothy 4, 4 For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving. 1 Peter 3, 3 to 4 Whose adorning let it not be that outward adorning of plating the hair, and of wearing of gold, or of putting on of apparel, for but let it be the hidden man of the heart, in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of great price. Divine encounter.